extension of Persian Pendula to, to a more complicated uh, solution. Uh, provided I can change. Okay. As you know, torsion pendulum are used in gravitational uh, physics since the beginning. Earth-Torsion friends are, are the beginners. And our work started into the Lisa Pathfinder framework in order to uh, characterize the GRS, the uh, gravity, gravity reference systems, uh, system of the uh, Lisa Pathfinder before flight. And in this framework, we started from the, uh, the initial one-stage pendulum that uh, Juliana described uh, just now. Uh, and starting from that, we developed a, a, a two-stage torsion pendulum to measure the accretion cross-talk on the GRS. Then we will, we will see later what, what, what we mean with accretion, uh, accretion cross-talk. Uh, Juliana already told you that we, we actuate on the, on the mass uh, uh, in Elizabeth Finder, in order, uh, mostly in order to, to keep the mass in, inside the, uh, the electrode house in, in, into the satellite, while the satellite is, uh, is uh, moved by solar wind and, uh, and whatever. Uh, here I shall discuss the working principle and the measurement as well the possible evolution of this two-stage torsion, torsion pendulum uh, as a facility to, uh, to measure small forces and. Uh, any ideas is welcome for, for that. Uh, we can mimic a, a free fall uh, mass with the torsion pendulum be, uh, above the, the resonance frequency. Uh, as you see, uh, above the, the resonance frequency, the transfer function is uh, one over, uh, over the uh, square over frequency, which is uh, typical free fall uh, falling mass. Uh, and on a, on a torsion pendulum, a single stage torsion pendulum, we can uh, only measure torque around the, uh, the, the, uh, the fiber, while uh, uh, with a four mass torsion pendulum, we can uh, only measure a force as a, as a translation, or uh, we'll see that if it, we, we call a translation the rotation uh, along the, uh, uh, the center fiber uh, because the, the radius uh, times the, uh, the angle is for small angles is a translation for us. Uh, this kind of, de of device has been extensively used for ground testing due, uh, during the development of Lisa Pathfinder in Trento. And uh, we uh, started from the four, uh, four mass torsion pendulum to build this two stage tor uh, torsion pendulum uh, uh, that uh, is, uh, is depicted here. To be free falling, uh, we call soft in one, in one direction. Uh, on both uh, translation and, and rotations, uh, we hang the, uh, the mass, uh, one of the masses of the of three, uh, of four masses torsion pendulum to another, to another wire. Uh, in this way, we can measure both force by uh, pushing the mass and torque by rotating the mass along the, uh, the second fiber at the same time. Since this, this configuration permits simultaneously the measurement of force and torque acting on the, on the test mass, besides the measurement of the stray forces uh, uh, and torque is on the, uh, on the test mass, we can measure cross talks between different degrees of freedom, both in readout and actuation. What I mean? I mean that we, if we actuate in force and uh, measure a torque and, uh, or, or vice versa. Measurement of residual stiffness of, uh, that is to say force acting on test mass due to, uh, to the GRS motion. And uh, other measurements that can, that can be also performed with a single stage uh, torsion pendula. This is the layout in the uh, uh, gravitational uh, uh, physics uh, lab in Naples. We uh, uh, could, could convince our university to build uh, a, a concrete basement that uh, directly uh, is on, on, the, on the ground and with poles uh, going into the ground for uh, 12 meters. And uh, above this concrete uh, uh, block, we, uh, we have a suspension with the, uh, with the, ter uh, with the, the high fiber, uh, the high fiber and the low fiber, uh, 
the low fiber and the gravity, uh, gravity reference system of the, uh, uh, of the uh, liquid pathfinder. There is a, a, a close up in the, in the other, uh, other picture. Uh, one mass is hung to a wire, the other masses for symmetry are uh, originally hung to, uh, to, uh, to rigid legs. Okay, we tested a copy of the Lisa Pathfinder GRS engineering model, which is a mass uh, uh, with a uh, uh, four millimeter gap between the mass and the, and, uh, and the GRS in uh, Molybdon and uh, Chapel. Uh, the electronics is almost the same as the, uh, as the one of Lisa Pathfinder. Uh, Pathfinder. Uh, it, is to say that it, it is the same as it was at the beginning of the story. I don't know if, how much uh, has it changed from, from that. Uh, the total wire length is about 1.7 meters, and uh, the double pendulum is enclosed in a vacuum tank with a, a residuum, uh, residual pressure about 10 to minus 6 millibar. Okay, the facility, uh, the facility has a redundant readout system with a combination of different sensors. We use the, uh, uh, at the, uh, the uh, capacitive sensors that are uh, also used in, in the Lisa Pathfinder, but uh, uh, we also use, for historical reasons, and because we uh, have a, a, a big expertise on, this, on that in Naples, uh, an optical readout, both on the, uh, on the uh, top fiber and at the level of the, of the test mass. The uh, optical readouts are uh, uh, normally uh, an optical lever, just with a quadrant photodiode. And uh, on the, at, the, uh, at the test mass level, we need two optical levers in order to disentangle translation from rotations. Okay. And also at the, uh, at the top level, we have uh, 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 the autocollimator that Juliana uh, mentioned before. So we have the, a, double L, a double lecture on the top, mass, on the top uh, fiber and uh, a double lecture on the, on the bottom. Okay, the vari variables that uh, actually are measured by the, uh, by the uh, GRS are what we call translation, X, which is the high fiber Angle, uh, uh, angular uh, motion times the, uh, uh, the, the dimension of the, uh, of the arm and the, uh, the, uh, the angle of rotation of the mass, which is the sum of the rotation of the high, uh, high fiber and the, the, uh, around, around the, uh, the, uh, the low fiber. We call phi A and phi B, which is in, in Italian is also simple because phi alta and phi bassa. <laughs> Okay, the, uh, uh, the mass is equipped both with uh, uh, sensors and actuators. Actuators all, only in the direction, uh, only in one direction, which is uh, mimic, that mimics the direction orthogonal to the, uh, to the sensitive one. And uh, the sensor in the other direction. We have two electrodes for, uh, for uh, actuation and, and two electrodes for, uh, for sensor. So we can measure with sensors the rotations and, uh, uh, and translation as a, uh, as a function of uh, frequency. And uh, uh, both the uh, capacity and the uh, optical readout give almost the same, uh, the same results up to a certain frequency, uh, above a certain frequency that, that is about one second, one, uh, one hertz. Uh, the optical readout is quite better and lies almost at the, at the level of the uh, uh, ADC uh, noise, which is the black curve, okay? The actuators uh, are, as, as I seen, uh, said before, a couple of actuators for, uh, on, on both sides, and uh, the force we apply is proportional to the square of the, of the voltage applied. And this means that the actuators can, uh, actuators can only push. And the applied vol uh, voltage is proportional the, uh, to the square root of the required force in this way. And uh, since the, uh, the electrodes can only push, we, uh, to, to, to give a torque, we must act on the, on the alternate actuators. Uh, and to give a force, we, we must act on, on, uh, on, the same, uh, on the two actuators on one side and the other side.
So having the, uh, uh, the actuators, we can uh, measure the position and torque when we act in position and torque, and so having a, a transfer function uh, measurement, here it is, that reproduce, as, uh, as we can see, the pre-fall in, uh, both in torque and, uh, and in force. And uh, by using the transfer function, we can measure force and torque when it is free. Okay, as you see in force, we are right to the level to 10 to the minus 10, while on torque, we, we are much more sensitive. Yeah. And you see also that uh, the optical readout is more sensitive than, uh, than the uh, capacity and capacitive sensor. So, uh, starting from the beginning of, the, uh, of, uh, of last year, we uh, decided to change the, uh, the, in the system by uh, hanging uh, all, the, uh, all the other masses to, uh, to wires instead of legs. This has a twofold uh, advantage. The first one is that the, uh, the system is, uh, uh, is lighter, so we can reduce the, uh, the diameter of the, uh, of the top fiber thus uh, uh, having a, a lower frequency, uh, a lower res resonance frequency. And uh, also uh, we, uh, we, we have a more symmetric uh, uh, system to, uh, to be controlled. Uh, we also fixed some problems with the optical readout, the top optical readout, so this has another advantage. You see on the, on the, uh, on the right uh, graph the, uh, the improvement in sensitivity in force uh, between the old, uh, old uh, configuration and the new configuration. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk about the crosstalks. So what we mean uh, for crosstalks? Uh, suppose we have to apply a, a force on the, uh, on the test mass. We have, on the one electrode, we have force F0. On the other electrodes, we have a force that should be at zero, but may be different because uh, the electrodes are not, are not perfect. So the, for, the total force is about two, uh, two times at zero, and uh, the residual torque is, is given by the difference uh, of the forces multiplied by the, by the arm. So we have minus delta F times B, and, okay, and the cross torque is defined as, as the uh, uh, ratio between delta F and 2F0. Hmm? That is to say, torque divided by FB. The opposite situation is depicted on the, on, on the right side. Okay, the force exerted by each electrode uh, is computed uh, as a gradient of the capacity of the sensor. Uh, that in turn is a function of the, of the position of the, of the mass inside the electrode housing. And this allowed us to compute the force and torque as a, as a position uh, uh, in x, y, and phi uh, in, inside the electrode housing, the, the, neglecting the other two, uh, three degrees of freedom because they are almost constant. The altitude and, uh, uh, and the other, uh, and the other uh, torsion are constant. Uh, and we can also uh, 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 compute a model for, uh, for this in, uh, uh, with, with only geometrical considerations. And by uh, stopping at the second order of the, uh, of the equations, we can have this model. And then uh, compare the measurements uh, with, with the model. How, how to do this? The uh, electrode housing is mounted uh, uh, on Pico motors in such a way that we can move the uh, electrode housing around the mass in order to mimic torque and forces, or to mimic, not torque, to, to mimic uh, uh, displacements and, and rotations. And uh, so we, uh, we, can, we can measure uh, the uh, cross strokes in different, in different position of the, of the test mass inside the electrode housing and uh, compare it with the model, and we see that uh, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the bottom we see the, uh, the residuals model minus, uh, uh, measure minus computed, which is uh, around the 0.2%. Uh, 
And also we can do the same with the uh, uh, torque force crosstalk measurement. Okay, in, in summary, if we uh, only uh, uh, look at the central region of the, uh, of the uh, GRS, uh, that is the range of, uh, of interest for, uh, for the scientific operation of laser pathfinder, the measure crosstalk is less than 0.2%, which is uh, within the, uh, the requirements of Lisa Pathfinder. Uh, we have some open issues, that is what I mentioned before, that for example, we have high sensitivity in, in torque but low sensitivity in force, and this is due uh, by large pendular motion in the uh, 0.41 hertz zone, uh, that is 100 uh, micrometers instead of, of the a few micrometers due to, uh, and this is due to a low efficiency of the magnetic damper uh, at the pre-hanger for, uh, for a two-stage pendulum. And uh, uh, both things can be explained by the motion of the suspension point due the uh, oceanic peak, actually is the Mediterranean peak, uh, uh, or uh, uh, the conversion of higher frequency noises. And this can be mitigated by actively uh, controlling the suspension point in the, in the band 0.21 hertz for the oceanic, oceanic peak as the, its maximum. And uh, how to do it? We can uh, measure the ground acceleration and apply a, 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 a feed forward control to the suspension point with a piezo actuator, both in, horizontal, uh, in both horizontal degrees of freedom. And the first experimentation of this control uh, system is in curse. Here we see the, uh, in, in, in black, we have the uh, measurement by uh, a seismometer, which is an accelerometer. And uh, in red, we have uh, what, uh, an, a, a velocimeter, the, the derivative of, uh, of the measurement of a velocimeter mounted above a platform controlled by the, uh, the piezo actuators. And as we see, we can uh, completely uh, control the, uh, the oceanic peak. Okay, we can also extend the uh, capacity of this uh, kind of, uh, of uh, double pendulum, for example, by uh, hanging the mass uh, in a point which is uh, nearer to the, uh, to the center of mass uh, of the mass itself in order to decrease the, uh, 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 the, um, the frequency of the mass around uh, in torque. And also we can uh, increase the number of degrees of freedom we can, uh, we can consider as pre-falling by having more stages uh, in, in cascade. That's all. So we built and tested uh, this kind of, the, of double, uh, double pendulum. Force and, and torque cross talks are under control. And sensitivity can, can be improved by controlling the suspension points and can be easily, up, easily conceptually, easily upgra upgraded to, uh, to more degrees of freedom. Thank you very much. So we do have time for one question, please. Sorry, can you clarify what you uh, said at the end about suspending the mass close to the center of mass to increase the frequency? No, to decrease the, uh, the resonant frequency. Yes, to lower, yes. Of which degrees? Of can, you, can you go back one slide? Yep. You see the torque is uh, k theta, that is to say mgh theta if you reduce, uh, you reduce, you reduce h. But this is for, 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 for not, not the For this and for this. N not, not these. For this. <laughs> okay, for the, for yeah. the tilt. Yeah, for the okay. tilt. Okay. Okay. No, I, I think we 
sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, is, is it feasible to get? Uh, it's to get, difficult. I mean, it's, it's very difficult to, to do that. Ah, okay. It's, it's a concept. I, mean, I was curious if you had done some no, estimate we, we, of how close you can go to the center of mass, we, how you can we, adjust we, it to, no, we, to get we, low enough frequencies. We didn't, we didn't do any, any experimentation it's on that. It's just an idea. Just an okay. idea. Okay. Okay, thank you very much uh, once again. And uh, <laughs> let's move on.